Thank you, General Ryder. So can you confirm that Airman, Airman First Class Jack Teixeira, a member of the Massachusetts Air National Guard, is a person of interest in this leaked documents case? And I have several other questions. Sure. Uh, so first of all, as I mentioned, there is an ongoing criminal investigation. And so uh, anything related to that, I'm going to need to refer you to the, the DOJ or the FBI. Can you speak at all to if anyone in the Department of Defense has reached out to this airman? Do you know where he is? Um, there are reports that law enforcement is closing in on this airman's location. Um, so has anyone been able to reach out to him? Uh, again, Tara, I appreciate the question, but again, given that this is an ongoing investigation, I'm not going to be able to talk about the investigation or any potential DOJ actions, so I'd refer you to them. Okay, in the days <laughs> after the leaks came to light, what steps has DOD taken to reduce the number of people who have access to not only these classified briefings, but the classified material in general? Sure. Um, so we continue to review a variety of factors uh, as it relates to safeguarding classified materials. This includes examining uh, and updating distribution lists, assessing how and where intelligence products are shared, uh, and a variety of other steps. Um, I would say, though, that it is, it is important to understand uh, that we do have stringent guidelines in place for safeguarding classified and sensitive information. This was a deliberate criminal act, a violation of those guidelines. Uh, and so, again, I think that's important to understand. Now, we will continue to do everything we can to ensure that, that people who have a need to know uh, when it comes to this kind of information have access to that. Um, we're always going to learn from every situation. Um, but again, um, this is something that we'll continue to look at. But you are taking steps to tighten that, I guess, population who might have access to this level of information. That, that's accurate. Again, we continue to review those distribution lists, update them, make sure there's a need to know. But again, let me just emphasize my point um, that this was a, you know, we have rules in place. Uh, each of us signs a non-disclosure agreement. Anybody that has a... Uh, has a security clearance. Uh, and so uh, all indications are, again, this is a criminal act, a willful violation of those. Uh, and, and again, a re another reason why we're continuing to investigate and support DOJ's investigation. And just last question. Um, do you have a sense that this is just the act of one individual? And even if so, wouldn't uh, members of his chain of command also be held accountable for this lost information? Again, I don't want to speculate or get ahead of the DOJ's investigation. We need to allow that to run its course, uh, and so I'd refer you to them. Let me go.